RC slab bridge. RC slab bridge is one of the most common durable and economical bridge types for short spans. It is widely used in crossings over waterways, underpasses for walkways. Its superstructure is substantially wide compared to the depth of the slab and this is why the loading is distributed to a very broad area. In this presentation, we'll see how Midas Civil handles RC slab bridges. Midas Civil provides RC slab wizard using which RC slab bridge can be modeled within no time. Static analysis can be performed for pavement load, barrier loading, self weight, etc. Settlement analysis can be performed. What happens in RC slab bridges is the abutment or the pier go, undergoes settlement and due to that there are large amount of forces developed in the deck. So that can be computed using settlement analysis in Midas Civil. Temperature load analysis can be performed for difference in temperature between top and bottom of the deck slab. Influence surface analysis can be performed for moving loads. And since it's a plate model which is generated using the wizard in Midas Civil, local direction for sum and resulting force diagram can be used to extract the results for performing the design. Now I'll directly move to the software and show you how we can model RC slab bridges. And let's save this model file and let's say demo. So in this case also I need to define nothing but just go to structure RC slab bridge wizard. This also has three tabs longitudinal transverse and loads. In longitudinal I have to define a material. I can click add concrete material to the standard say concrete material 4500 and close. Size of plates maximum size in longitudinal direction can be entered here. Radius can be entered for curved slab bridges. I can choose the curvature as convex or concave and also the configuration type as radial or parallel can be chosen. Span information is entered here. So if I am modeling for three spans, if I have more number of spans then I can further enter their distance. Skew angle, let's say I want zero, I don't want a skew and these thickness values can be entered looking at this figure and T1 and A3 can be used for providing tapering in the slab. Let's say I want six inch of depth. Boundary conditions, there are two options. I can use support or elastic link. Using support, what Midas Civil does is it defines these nodes of slab itself as supports or else if I use elastic link, then fixed supports are modeled at a certain distance from the deck. Those fixed supports are connected to the deck using elastic link. That elastic link simulates the bearing and these supports can be later on removed to model the abutment or pier as per the model requirement. I have to define a fixed support so I'll just define at pier 2 location and move to next tab. In transverse direction we can define several type of sections. Type 1 is with barrier on both ends. Type 2 is barrier on one end and median on the other. And this is just switching of type 2. Maximum size of plate element in transverse direction. And all these input parameters can be entered as per this diagram. V4 will be 79.2. N is 4, that is number of gaps between the bearings is 4. So number of bearings will be 5. I'll use fixed support and the central bearing and then I'll move to loads tab. 
choose S12 FD 2002 for load combinations. Define a moving load code. S12 RFT. Click OK. I can change the moving load codes as well after generating the model using the wizard also. So editing the model is not a difficulty at all in software. The loads which I can define are self weight, pavement load, barrier loading with additional loads for attachments like noise barrier and anything else. Median loading because I have chosen type 2. I'll use sidewalk loading with crowd load on the sidewalk. Live load I can choose tandem or truck. After the model is generated I can define both so that's not a concern. Settlement values can be inputted here like how much settlement the abutment or pier undergoes so we can input the value. Temperature load can be defined. Wind load, lateral wind load and this is the torsion due to wind load which can be inputted here. For now I'll uncheck and click OK. Let me undisplay the nodes. So this is the RC slab bridge which is generated and if we look at the components which have been defined are like these. It's a complete plate model with a single material. As I mentioned in box culvert demonstration, materials can be changed just by adding one more material and editing it. Or any number of materials can be defined. So any change in geometry, boundary condition, loading is possible in Midas Civil and is quite easy using the options provided here. Mainly RC slab bridges will be requiring modeling of abutment and piles that can be done using node element tab. So these are CAD based features we can use it to model the abutments and piles or else we can just have this configuration and analyze the structure. Supports as I said Fixed supports are defined at the bottom of the slab, below the slab and these fixed supports are connected to slab using elastic link and these elastic links have the stiffness equal to the bearing stiffness. Let me undisplay the links to the hidden view and go to isometric view. The loads defined are dead load of the slab itself and dead load of components and attachments like sidewalk and barrier. Dead load of wearing surface is applied. Temperature load is defined. Crowd load on sidewalk is applied. I'll just undisplay the loadings now and discuss the traffic line lanes. If I see all the dis defined lanes then you can see these lanes are defined. Eccentricity of the lanes can be changed as per the requirement just by clicking at properties and we can edit this lane definition. I'll land display. The vehicles defined are tandem vehicle only which I chose in the wizard. For further vehicle addition I can go to load, moving load and add vehicle. I can choose any other vehicle. If I want to add truck I can choose truck to add it here. And here the moving load case has been defined for performing the analysis. There are four settlement groups defined here for the settlement load that I defined. These settlement groups are for the supports. This is for the abutment if it undergoes settlement. This is pier 1 undergoing settlement. Next is settlement of pier 2 and abut second abutment settlement. So all these settlements are considered. We can run the analysis and check the results. Extracting the results for performing the design, that is the design force extraction, is same as box culvert. As we discussed in box culvert, we can use local direction force sum or we can use resultant force diagram for extracting the design forces and directly using it for performing the design in case of slab models. That completes the demonstration. I'll move back to the presentation. When we think of engineers, we think of solutions and we 
MIDAS act as a link between engineers and the solutions. So now we'll discuss what are the MIDAS solutions to engineering challenges for box culvert and RC slab bridges. Time is the most crucial asset for all of us and MIDAS has come up with solution to help you save time. For modeling, MIDAS Civil provides bridge wizard which saves time for 3D finite element modeling. Next, MIDAS Civil provides 64-bit operating system supported solver which increases the analysis speed depending on the RAM that you have. Next, it has GPU accelerator. The GPU accelerator can further reduce the analysis time and increase the analysis speed by 3 to 5 times by having the NVIDIA Tesla series graphic cards. Extraction of results for design is quite easy as we saw using local direction force sum or resultant force diagram. And as I mentioned, it's compatible to Excel so we can export the results quite easily to Excel and use it for design. Another tedious job is to generate the project report and it takes quite a lot of time. For that, Midas Civil provides dynamic report generator. Let me go back to the software and show you how it works. For dynamic report generator, we, we can, let's say this is my model view and I can click on dynamic report image and click OK. So it's saved here. The image is saved and I can run the analysis. So the analysis is complete as I have already saved an image for initial model file. I will show you another example for results. Let's say I want to save the results for displacement control. I will just choose one load case, DZ deformation, deform, legend, click apply and then I can right click and save as dynamic report image. Not only image but tables can also be saved. So I will right click table, just choose any loading. This is the table. I can right click and save as dynamic report table. Let's say I don't want these results to be there. I just save it as you can see two images have been saved, tables have been saved. And now I can go to tools, dynamic report generator, open a new document which will open a word file in the software itself and all I need to do is just drag and drop. So you see this image is automatically added in the software and I can further add other image as well. Just drag it from here and drop it here. So likewise all the tables can also be added and the beauty with using this dynamic report generator is that let's say I make some changes in my model later on as per some requirement and run the analysis again these images, the charts will automatically be updated and then we can, all we need to do is delete the previous image and drag and drop the image again. Since the image is already updated, the view will automatically be updated. So we don't need to save the images and tables again. That saves quite a lot of time for generating the reports. Another crucial issue is the sudden road collapse just before the approach slab of RC frame or slab bridges or at culvert crossing sites due to poorly designed embankment slopes. Sudden and catastrophic failure leads to injury or loss of life and it also disrupts the road or rail above it. To check the stability of any sort of slope and take preventive measures, Midas provides Soilworks. Soilworks is a 2D software 
not only for slope stability but also for tunnel excavation and lining analysis, seepage analysis, foundation stability analysis, dynamic analysis, soft ground consolidation settlement analysis. Slope stability using Midas soil works will be discussed in the next session after 15 minutes. That completes the session for Midas Civil. Thank you for attending.